Joining us is head coach Dave Richmond. Congratulations, coach. Uh, a 2-0 and week is always good. Uh, protecting the home court is always good, and you had a little adversity in the week to overcome as well, so that made it even more special. Thanks, Jeremy. It's always great to get to, and uh, we talked about it here. Adversity can go a lot of ways, yeah. especially between 18 to 23-year-olds, and really credit our guys. Uh, we addressed the situation Monday. We knew nobody, especially South Dakota and South Dakota <laughs> State, weren't going to feel sorry for yeah. us. And our guys really responded. We, we built up the lead against USD, were able to hung on, and then really competed uh, Saturday afternoon. Yeah, let's talk about that USD game. So Carlin Dupree, this is the first game without him. Uh, how was your rotations for that game, you think, without Carlin? I thought our rotation was pretty good from the fact that yep. we delivered a, what we had an opportunity to do, and that was go 1-0. Yeah. Uh, and you know, we played a lot of guys, a, a lot of minutes. Uh, but we needed, we did what we needed to do to get the W. And, and credit guy like a guy like Kai Cabellas, who, who came in there and played 40 minutes yeah. and only had two turnovers. And I thought Corey Brown was absolutely outstanding. 16 and 10 at half, 21 and 15 for the game. Uh, a senior doing what seniors do this time of year, and just putting us on his back. Yeah, he led by example, no question. So you build a 16-point lead late. They put on a press, and, and it worked for him a little bit. Got him back in the game, and you had to hang on. So talk about the second half and how that all played out. Well, credit them, they made some adjustments that they felt they needed to get back in the game, and it got them right back in the game. And yeah. I think what you saw there was a microcosm of who we are and who we've been this season. Uh, a team that looks really good for stretches of 30 to 32 minutes, but then there's a stretch yeah. of eight to 10 minutes that we just lapse. And whether it's youth, whether it's fatigue, whether it's inexperience, all those are excuses that we need to continue to eliminate. And, and that's what I was most pleased with Saturday when we had built the lead, uh, South Dakota State came out, punched a little bit, and we responded, dug our heels in, and punched right back. So you, you went against South Dakota. It's a one-point win. Moving to South Dakota State, uh, I thought you really you hung in there for all, all 40 minutes this time. Uh, you know, you got a lead, never let them back in it. Your defense held them to 29% shooting. That's a great feat. Yeah, absolutely. We talk about it all the time, and uh, defending, rebounding, and taking care of the ball. We were even on the boards, 42-42. But we defended yeah. as well as I've seen since I've been here. Holding them to 19% in the first half, 29% yeah. for the game. That, that's that's outstanding. And, and our guys really locked into a game plan. And then we only turned it over 10 times. And it's still in the lower possession game, probably a couple too much. Uh, but when you do those things, you give yourselves a chance, and, and you're not beating yourselves. And we, we, we made them beat us. And, and fortunately for us, uh, we were able to, to come out with a W again. Well, let's look at the big picture now. You're 13 and six, three and two. Uh, looking at the league now, uh, Omaha did take a loss. IPFW beat them, so there's two teams that are four and one. Uh, IUPUI's four and two, and yourself and the Jackrabbits now three and two. So it was important to get SDSU with that second loss and, and put yourself back in a good position. Yeah, to me, this is going to be a real interesting week, Jeremy. You, you look yeah. at South Dakota State, for instance. They go to Oral Roberts on Thursday, who's playing as yeah. well as anybody. They've won three in a row. Then they turn around and go to South Dakota, who's sitting on them for over a week almost, I think. And um, Oral Roberts is playing well. Fort Wayne loses one of their best players and finds a way to get yeah. a good, a great road win at at Omaha. Uh, Omaha is going to go on the road. We're going on the road. This is a real interesting week, and I, I think you're you're seeing what we knew all along. The Summit League is at an all-time high, yep. and it's not just because of two or three teams. It's the, the parity, almost one through nine, and, and we obviously need to focus in on ourselves, especially with our young group, with a tremendous challenge Thursday and Saturday in front of us. Yeah, I agree with you too. South Dakota, they're one and four, but they're, they're better than that. Uh, you know, they're certainly due for a win, so that'll be a tough game for somebody uh, coming up. Now Thursday at IPFW, uh, a 6 p.m. tip. Uh, they're averaging 91 and a half over their last eight, so they're very similar to an Omaha type team. Even without Mo Evans, who was declared academically ineligible, they're still a pretty legit team. Yeah, John's done a tremendous job. and. Uh, they had some success last year. They were picked high, uh, didn't go as well as they wanted in the Summit League tournament, but after a slow start, they really, really got it going and won six or seven in a row. And yeah. you could see the confidence within that program just building. Uh, Landis is playing at a yeah. high high level. The freshman, Conchar, I, I believe that's how you say it, is, is to me probably, uh, along with Dom and Kai, are, are a couple of the better freshmen in our league. And uh, they always have a toughness about them. But again, we need to really, what we got away from is, I, is, is the more and more I reflect in that Omaha game was just the lack of poise and discipline offensively mm -hmm. kind of got into their kind of type of tempo. And that's what we can't do. We need, to, we need to do us offensively. And that really dictates uh, surprisingly how we are offensively, or def excuse me, defensively mm -hmm. as well. Uh, IPFW's fourth in the nation in three-pointers made too, so they can shoot a little bit. Now, Western Illinois, early in the year, they beat Wisconsin. 
Uh, Wisconsin just beat Michigan State yesterday. Uh, you know, you look at that and you look at where they're going, they're better, aren't they? No question, and you, you, you can see that, and that's what I mean, the top to bottom. I talked to Greg McDermott the other day at Creighton, and, and they played them, and talked about in preparing for them how significantly uh, much better they, they were and they had been. And uh, Billy's in his second year. He, uh, they've yeah. got some experience. They've got juniors and seniors, which is mid-major basketball. And, mm -hmm. um, and that's always a tough place to play. Yeah, no doubt. We'll have the Bison Radio Network fired up for you 6 o'clock on Thursday, 2 o'clock on Saturday with Jack Michaels. Best of luck to you, Coach. Thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate it. All right, a road week for the Bison. We'll recap it next week for you. Have a good one.